In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace and love of God our Father and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, to prepare our hearts to enter into the sacred mysteries, let us together call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance, and in your kindness, grant those you stir to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I have made. Whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psalmistry, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments. Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the white-hot furnace and who is, God, who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, There's no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God whom we serve can save us from the white-hot furnace and from your hands, O king, may he save us. But even if he will not, know, O king, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you have set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with other rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Surely, O king, they answered him. But he replied, I see four men, unfettered and unhurt, walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like a son of God. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who set his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory, glory and, and praise, praise forever. forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory, glory and, and praise, praise forever. forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon a cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory, Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory, Glory and praise forever.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you'll be truly free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence, than to do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, we were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I came from God and am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Shadrach, Meshach, and Amendigo are thrown into the fiery furnace for disobeying the king. Their lives were spared by God, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. In the gospel, Jesus says to those who believe in him that as his disciples, they will know the truth and the truth will set them free. They counter that they are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. Jesus tells us that his followers are known by their shared allegiance to the Father. As a son of the Father, he has the authority to set them free if they remain in his love. We, too, will stay true to our calling as Christians by rem remaining in Jesus' words. And if we remain in Jesus' words, no matter the difficulties, perhaps we will not be saved physically as Shadrach, Meshach, and Amendigo were, but we perhaps are saved in a much more powerful way. The Lord has the ability to save us. He has the ability to do all things. And so my dear brothers and sisters, sometimes like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, we face observe, uh, adversity. And sometimes we face those who are trying to, to push us down. The key is always to remain true to the Father. And so, as we are ultimately created in the image and likeness of God, as his children, we are called to complete the work of the Father. We're called to continuously do the, his work in the world. And if we trust him with all our heart, soul, and strength, we too will be saved. Let us lift our hearts and minds to the Lord as we present our petitions. For the church leaders, may the fruit of the Spirit be abundant in their ministries. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may the peace of Christ permeate their hearts in all they do. We pray. For those shackled by fear or injustice, 
May the love and the promise of Christ set them free, we pray. For those who are sick, and we remember in a special way at this Mass, our Holy Father, Pope Francis, as he has been hospitalized for you know, breathing infection. May we pray for his restored health, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may God help us remain in his word and truly be his disciples, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, may God's love and mercy surround them and bring them to his everlasting kingdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of the Holy Mass being offered this evening for David Sneeringer. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. God of grace, our strength and our inspiration, hear the prayers of your church gathered here in faith and hope. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive back, O Lord, these sacrificial offerings which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name, and grant that they may become remedies for our healing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he
he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ronald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, but Blessed Joseph, her spouse of the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant for peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Amen. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow down for the blessing. Attend, Almighty God, to the prayers of your people. And as you endow them with confident hope in your compassion, let them feel as ever the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do that, O Prince of the Heavenly Host. By the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who pry about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Proceed, Ronobosus Engelis.